What do you want? Uh, my uh, senior will not be here. Uh, what do you want? That's it. Another day. That's it. Can I ask you a question? Yes, Judge. Why would you do, why would you do this? Robert Burley? I pledge allegiance to the flag. On the record in State of Michigan versus Robert B. Early two four zero zero five zero two up Y. Appearance, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank Tara you. Nickel from the Ingham County Public Defender's Office on behalf of Mr. Early for arraignment only this afternoon. Are you uh, Robert Lee Early on the video? Yes, I am, you do it. All right, thank you. Today's the date for your arraignment. What I have here is a felony complaint. This alleges that on or about February 22nd, 2024, at 230 Jones Street in the city of Lansing, Ingham County, Michigan, count one is assault by strangulation. It says that you did make an assault upon Kevin Gibson by strangulation or suffocation. That is a felony oh, punishable by 10 years or $5,000 DNA to be taken upon arrest. And count two says domestic violence, that you did make an assault or assault and battery upon Kevin Gibson, an individual with whom you've had a dating relationship. That is a misdemeanor punishable by 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. Emma Do you was not in a relationship with him. Love, exciting and new. Okay. Mr. Burley, we're not making any statements today. Mr. Burley, Mr. Burley, that's not our discussion today. We're talking about arena. Do you understand the charges and the possible penalty? What, 10 years? Uh, so, so count one is a 10-year felony, and count two is a 93-day misdemeanor. And then there's Your financial Honor, penalties. What? I did not strangle Kevin Gibson. So, Ms. I I know, Mr. Mr. Burley, I don't get to decide that today. I get to tell you the charges, offer you a lawyer, set your court dates, and set your bond. You will have hearings in the future to determine whether these things happen, but I don't get to decide that today. So back to the question. You understand that you're charged with count one, assault by strangulation, a felony punishable by 10 years or $5,000, and count two, domestic violence, a misdemeanor punishable by 93 days and or $500. Your Honor, he did not get what he said he got. Mr. Burley, that is not what I asked you. I said, do you understand the charges and the possible penalties? Yes. Okay. Mr. Burley, you have the right to have an attorney in this matter. If you'd like to have one and you don't believe you can afford one, we can see if the public defender will represent you. You have the right to a trial that could be by jury. You have the right oh. to remain oh. silent. Anything you say orally or in writing will be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney present with you during any questioning okay. by law enforcement. Do you understand your rights? Help me. Help me. Yeah. Okay. You need to not talk while I'm talking. Can you control that, Mr. Burley? I just heard. Yes. Okay. Can we do this today, Your Honor? My health is in jeopardy right now. What's up? I have IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, mm -hmm. and what what's been going on? Is Very stressful. I'm bleeding inside, ma'am. All right. Did you want a public defender to assist you? Yes. Okay. I'll put that down. Are you on probation, parole, or bond in please any court at this time? Please don't do me like this. I'll be proved myself. Sir, sir, are you on probation, parole, or bond in any court at this time? No? Okay. You will have a probable cause conference. Your probable cause conference is scheduled for March 8th at 9 a.m. in my court. March 8th, 9 a.m. Help me. And then 
A preliminary exam will be March 15 at 145, also in my court. The preliminary exam is a date where the government must bring evidence. Oscar says hit like and subscribe. Well, and hit the bell notification. Thanks, Oscar. I still did that. To demonstrate probable cause to believe the felony occurred and probable cause to believe that you are the person who committed the felony. Mr. Burley, I don't know if you're having an actual medical episode or you're just having anxiety, because my understanding is you just got back from the hospital. You want to go back to the hospital? Three times, my chest hurts. I am very dizzy. <laughs> okay, I guess they'll take you back to the hospital. We will complete your arraignment tomorrow if you get out of the hospital. I guess you'll stay in jail another night. No, oh, please. No, nope, they're going to take you to the hospital. You said you're having chest pain. I can't keep doing this. You're done. It was at this point that Mr. Burley realized he effed up. Take him to the hospital, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I didn't strangle him. I... Mr. Burley, we can't even talk about that because you need to go to the hospital right now. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> All right, I'll see Kevin Robertson next, please. Can I say the words that she said or? Sure, I need for you to tell me what went on. I'm, I'm not on that whole shit. I'm not with that whole shit. Well, there you have it. When, uh, when your malingering goes a little too far, so sometimes, sometimes it works against you. <laughs> Judge Buchanan, I haven't seen her in a while. I really like her. She was having none of that. She didn't believe it. I I mean, who really knows, though? You say you, say you have, a, have a heart thing. I'm highly skeptical of his claims, as is the judge. But let a doctor deal with it. And, and the consequence of that is you're spending another night in jail. I, I, that, that was sent to me by Alyssa. Thank you very much. That, that was just too much fun. I had to do it for a form. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court, and every once in a while, and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching. You didn't say the cat jumped on his knee, did you? Sit down and shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Cat jumped on his knee. 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 Just let this go for one, for one, one. Come okay, that didn't go.